I'm going to recommend that our churches across Kentucky uh, cancel their services for this weekend. It was a surprising message this, this morning from Governor Andy Bashir. We are asking your thoughts on whas11.com slash vote right now on whether church services this weekend should be canceled. But this is, an all, is all really in response to the eight cases that are now being reported in Kentucky. As we just told you, the 69-year-old man in Louisville with the virus is now out of the hospital. And then the governor reported this afternoon that he's also in good condition in home isolation. So how are the parishes reacting around our community? Sonike Gabrielis tells us what she learned. I think at this point we should do everything to protect the high risk population. Some faith leaders are still discussing next steps, but President of Muslim Americans for Compassion, Dr. Muhammad Babar, is advising his leaders to postpone Friday prayers. Elderly, they are at much higher risk to have severe symptoms. And they make up the majority of the congregation. There are about a dozen mosques in Louisville. About 100 members show up to each on Fridays. As a physician, I honestly believe that it's better uh, to be safe than sorry. There is a lot of unknown out there. That's right. There isn't much we know right now, says lead pastor at Highview Baptist Church, Aaron Harvey. But they're taking a different approach. We are not going to cancel services. Harvey says all three of their campuses are taking the governor's caution seriously. But we feel like that he's overreached. About 1,500 attend the service at the Feigenbush campus every Sunday. It calls upon us to respect our government authorities, but also to realize that our Lord Jesus has set out clearly in Hebrews 10 that we are called upon to congregate with one another. Louisville faith leaders are planning to meet on Friday to determine how they'll move forward following the governor's recommendations. Senai Gabriel Gerges, WHAS 11 News.